this heart. And I guess the first things I want to address before we get into the different uh, chambers of the heart is we really need to acknowledge that the heart is a muscular pump. Okay, there are a couple of other features other than muscular features in here. You know, this is the heart is um, it's, it's a it's an organ, right? So it has a combination of tissues, as you know from your biology studies. But it's a muscular pump. Um, secondly, I want you to sort of realise that it kind of has. Uh, one primary role I mean that you, you can describe other roles as well but it has one primary role and that is to generate force to generate force to circulate blood and of course by extension of that because the heart is capable of circulating blood around the body blood of course carries numerous nutrients such as oxygen, glucose, whatever it happens to be, to various parts of the body. And of course, you guys are studying this in quite a bit of detail in your other courses. You're also studying it in other organisms like plants um, and, and, and how tra things like uh, transpiration and translocation occur, for example. But this is our sort of human example, and we're distributing these resources, and the heart generates the force to do that. So, again, precursors. I want you to know that atria, and by the way, this is a plural term, atria, are what we call upper chambers okay upper chambers so i want you to initially look at this image and i want you to decide which are our atria just one thing to mention here one atria <laughs> we can't really say that but one is an atrium so, okay so this is one atrium two atria secondly we have got ventricles let me just go down a touch here we have got ventricles we have got ventricles and these are our lower chambers and of course with regard to ventricles one is called a ventr ventricle right they are our lower chambers so let's first of all acknowledge sort of like a, a base requirement here we've got if i just put like a, a rectangle rectangle in here here we've obviously got our ventricles there are those and if i go and choose that pink again here we've got our atria okay would you be happy with that we've got the atria the upper chambers We've got the ventricles, which are the lower chambers. Now, let me just get rid of all of that stuff. And what we're going to do here is we're now going to start labeling these in individually. Well, our A figure here, our A figure here, is what we would call <coughs> the right. Oops. Had to get rid of that. Sorry, folks. Uh, this is what we call our right atrium. Okay, so here's our right atrium. And of course, you might be thinking, well, why is it on the right? Well, it's on the right because we're looking at this heart as if it's sat in someone's chest, in the very center of their chest, just behind the sternum, just to the left. This is the right atrium because, of course, we're looking at this from the front. Okay, so there's our right atrium, which, of course, means by definition that this one over here is our left atrium. Combined, they are the atria. Now, I want to go further here, guys. The job of the atria is to receive receive blood okay so the atria they receive blood that is their role and they receive blood from veins so you might want to be considering for example that we've got this vein leading in this vein leading in we've also got veins over on this and you see they're actually coming up into here right they're coming down into here we've also got over here we've got veins that are coming in here and here, that is what we're interested in showing. So we've got veins that are bringing blood back to the heart. That's the role of the, at of the atria. And we've got right and left. So, of course, by definition, this is our right ventricle. Our right ventricle. There we go. Our right ventricle. There's that in, in figure B is what I'm referring to. And this, of course, is our left ventricle. And the point I want to make to you, this D, of course, in this case. The point I want to make to you about ventricles, folks, their job is to eject, eject blood into arteries. So they pump blood out, whereas the atria receive blood in. So you might notice, for example, I'll just go back to my sort of dodgy um, black arrows here. Look, we've got the right ventricle at the bottom here. When it contracts, it contracts upwards like this, okay? And it forces blood up and out this way. That's actually called the pulmonary artery. We'll come back to this in another tutorial. Whereas here in the left ventricle, again, it contracts up and inwards this way and blood is forced out and it ultimately goes out of here. And this here is the aorta. We'll come back to that in due course. So really important that we acknowledge that. Now, one last thing before we finish. Really important, of course, that you know your chambers. I want to talk to you just briefly for the first time about valves. 
Okay, and we've got numerous valves in the system. You might notice here that we've got a valve leading to the pulmonary artery. You might notice here we've got a valve leading to the aorta. You might notice here we've got a valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle. We've got a valve here between the left um, atrium and the left ventricle. What do valves do? They prevent backflow. And we're going to look at that in quite a bit of detail as we make progress on this valves prevent backflow that's their job so when blood for example is forced up and out of the left ventricle into the aorta it can't come back the other way that's not possible okay because the valve prevents it from doing that that's the structure of the heart in this lesson cheers